Car dealers who violate car buyers' data privacy rights. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? I'm here today with the amazing Elizabeth. It's your lucky day because you've arrived at the home of super high intensity training for car buyers. In this video, we're hitting data privacy at car dealerships. And it's one of my favorite topics because a lot of car dealers get it wrong. Yes, they do. And when you know your rights and you're outspoken about your rights, it shuts down a lot of the games that they play with you the moment you walk in the front door. So buckle up guys, this content is so good, you can never go car shopping again without watching this video again. You got that? You should never go car shopping again, as in visiting a car dealership without watching this video a second time for a refresher. Okay, you know how car dealers like to ask you, how are you going to pay and claim that you have to fill out a credit application the moment you walk in the door or just to take a test drive? Then the salesman hands you a piece of paper, which is quite often a copy of a copy of a copy of a credit application because the dealer is way too cheap to use the proper original copy. You've all seen them, these lousy, fuzzy, crooked copies. Well, <laughs> when they do this kind of thing, the dealership has implemented the policy of having an unauthorized person collect private financial data in a public setting, and they are expecting you to be okay with them violating your data privacy. That is so key to remember. Now, Liz, this is a subject of yours that you're well researched on and something you love to school an ignorant car salesman on. So mm -hmm. explain the Graham Leach Bliley Act, otherwise known as the GLBA privacy rule. So the federal law Kevin is talking about requires auto dealers to protect the privacy of consumers and they must protect the security and confidentiality of their personal data. Dealers must take steps to ensure that customers understand how their data is being shared and that that data is secured. This isn't voluntary, and it doesn't allow for sloppy handling of sensitive information. They are required by law to protect your data privacy, and the moment a dealer tries to improperly question you or ask for my private information, I challenge them immediately. Liz has a classic way of handling dealers who try to push this narrative. How are you going to pay? Or, we need you to fill out a credit app. This effort to pry into your financial privacy happens the moment you walk in the front door. Well, many of us on the homework guy team use the same strategy Liz is going to lay out for you guys. So Liz, give people a quick example of how you handle this with a common salesman question. Liz, how do you plan to pay? I keep my payment options open, but I don't have personal financial conversations in a public setting and with someone not authorized to make financial decisions. When I decide you have the car I want to buy at a price I'm willing to pay, I'll have that conversation directly with a finance officer in a private office. Now, Liz is making four key points, and I don't want you to miss them. They're all in her response to the question, how are you going to pay? So, Liz, lay out the four points you're making. Okay. Number one, I keep my options open. Number two, no personal financial conversations in public places. Number three, I only discuss finances with the person authorized to make financial decisions. And four, the conversation is always in a private office. Some of you have no idea how rock star good that answer is. Most car salesmen know nothing about federal data privacy laws and neither do many dealers. They stand there like a deer in the headlights. This is stuff they're supposed to know, but yeah. it's surprising how many don't. So I want to clarify something. Liz, how do you know a car salesman is not authorized to make financial decisions? Well, it's in their job title, sales. <laughs> and how do you know the finance officer is authorized to make financial decisions? So here's a clue, finance. Yeah, it's in the job title again. So you see, a car salesman pushes you around only because they've been trained to do that, but it's out of ignorance. They don't even know they're trading on federal law when they do that. When you know the law, and I suggest you read up on it, well, then you have them nailed to the wall right from the very beginning. So final point here, we are always talking about controlling your car deal, yes. right? So guess who's leading now after you just gave the salesman that kind of response and pinned them to the wall? I am. I'm in control and I run with it. Bingo. Now, let's dive into the details on this. Anytime a consumer gives a car dealership personal information of any kind, they are required to provide you with a written privacy notice, regardless of whether you end up purchasing a car or you're having service done or anything else that you do at the dealership. That's right. And according to GLBA, a consumer who has not even bought anything yet can be given a short form that must explain that a full data privacy notice is available if you request one. It has to tell you how to get the full notice and how to opt out if you don't want it. A ton of dealers are clueless about this, and I've known plenty who didn't even have this printed, much less available during the sales process. 
Let's talk about how this plays out in your conversations with the dealer. Now, let's say the car salesman keeps insisting on his or her boss needs to know how you plan to pay right. or wants you to fill out a credit app before they go any further. So Liz, how do you handle the persistent car salesman who keeps saying, well, I need to know how you're gonna pay? So I asked them, is this the policy of the dealership to violate my data privacy rights? Is your dealership okay with violating FTC privacy rules? If they hand me a copy of a copy of a credit application you mentioned, I immediately say, you're in violation of federal law handing me this document without a properly received and signed copy of your data privacy policy. This isn't the way a proper business conducts itself. That's a lot for an average car buyer to remember, Liz. So what's the short response they could give to that? Sure. Just say, I'm here to test drive a vehicle and determine if it's the right car for me. If I like it, I'll see if I'm willing to pay the price you want for it. In the meantime, you have no right to violate my data privacy. Either we go look at cars or I leave. Liz is great at trapping a dealer who isn't smart enough to show her the vehicle she is there to see. You must know that any place of business that engages in financial activities, as in extending credit to someone to purchase a car, arrange financing or leasing, or gives financial advice, well, they must comply with the consumer privacy requirements laid out by the GLBA and all related rules under the FTC, as well as the state data privacy laws. So the question is, when does this federal law, the state laws, and the FTC privacy rules kick in? Here it is. When a dealer attempts to collect private personal information in relation to the financing or leasing of a vehicle, right. and if it intends to disclose that personal information to a non-affiliated third party, like a lender or a bank, for example, the rule does not require that the person have filled out a formal application and does not apply if the person pays with cash or uses their own lender. Keep that note in mind. And why does it not apply when you pay with cash or use your own lender? Because they have no business pulling your credit <laughs> if you're paying cash or using your own bank. <laughs> right on. The most likely scenario in which an auto dealer will need to give a privacy notice to a consumer is if it runs that person's credit or plans to run it, submits their private information to third party lenders or assigns a retail installment agreement like a car contract to a third party person. You as the car buyer better have a signed privacy notice in your hand when that happens. So there's a precedence here, and this information is for the dealers in our audience. In 2012, the FTC took action against a Georgia auto dealer in a case that has provided excellent guidance on what the FTC considers best practices under the privacy rule. In that case, the FTC alleged that the dealer had failed to implement reasonable security measures to protect consumers' personal information. And as a result, information for 95,000 consumers was made available <laughs> on a peer-to-peer -peer network. The information included names, addresses, social security numbers, dates of birth, and driver's license numbers. That's right. The FTC also stated that the dealership failed to prevent, detect, and investigate unauthorized access to personal information on its networks, failed to adequately train employees, i.e. the car salesman. Remember the car salesman asking for the credit app. And failed to employ reasonable measures to respond to unauthorized access to personal information. Believe me, no dealer wants their sales staff collecting financial data. That's the job of a trained and properly authorized financial manager. Liz is referring to what has become the guidance for the gold standard for car dealers to follow when it comes to data privacy and protection. What's interesting is that we've almost never seen it done properly. Yes, car dealers are commonly in violation of these rules when they pry into your financial information the moment you come in the door and then have a car salesman of all people collect your personal <laughs> data from you. Wrong guy to be asking for that information. <laughs> so it's a huge no-no. It's right out in the showroom floor to someone who's not authorized to make the decisions. And I'd like to hear from just one car buyer who's actually been handed a proper privacy policy document at the time they asked for this information. Comment below if you've ever gotten one. I'd love to hear from somebody who actually was given a privacy yeah, notice seriously. at the time. All right. The summary, never fill out credit apps with a car salesman and demand that the dealership respect your data privacy rights. Only talk finances with an authorized finance officer of the dealership. And if you're paying cash or you have your own financing, they don't even need a finance application filled out. All right, if you appreciate this video on data privacy rights at a car dealership, make sure you hit that big thumbs up and leave us a comment down below. If you're not already subscribed, smack that red button and remember to ring the bell to Ding stay up to date. Let's get the homework guide to a million subscribers. If you love what we do and want to send a tip, we thank you in advance. Well, the links appearing on the screen here for PayPal and the Cash App, they'll be easy to find in the description box down below and on our website. But do you guys know what's the best way to help out the Homework Guy team? You share our videos with your family and friends. Help us get the word out. And if you'd like, join us on other social media platforms you see here on the screen now. 
Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter here with the amazing Elizabeth. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.